My father gave me a piece of advice when I was promoted to the first team. He told me to watch, listen and keep quiet. You have to learn, be very humble and give no one a negative thing to say about you. Borja Baston, son of former Atletico Madrid goalkeeper Miguel Baston, is an example of sacrifice and overcoming obstacles. He came through the Atletico Madrid youth system and is responsible for breaking all the goal-scoring records in the lower categories of the Colchoneros. On the 15th of May 2010, his hard work was rewarded with a first-team debut. An unforgettable day for any player. For him, it meant there was no turning back. I'd already been on the bench various times for the first team and had even warmed up, but never got onto the pitch. We were coming off winning the Europa League and I'd been called up. It was a day of celebration, a home match. We'd won the cup and it was a very happy day. It should have been one of the greatest days of my life, but it became one of the saddest when I got injured. I couldn't believe it because I went onto the pitch and had an unfortunate incident with Miguel Torres. And I kept playing because when you're making your debut, you really want to do well, to enjoy the moment you spent so long fighting for. It happened, I landed awkwardly and I kept playing until I couldn't carry on any longer. I couldn't put any weight on my leg and I had to ask to come off. Thank God it's gone and I'm fine now and it's all in the past and I'm fully recovered. Six years later, Borja Baston is the top goal scorer for Eibar in the Liga BBVA and one of the best Spanish forwards in the competition. It seemed like everything was rosy, and in the end, you realize it's not. That in life, you have to suffer, and that not everything comes easy. It was difficult to come back and get back the feeling I had before, but I'm happy to do it here. I'd already spent years playing and doing things well, but this year, especially in the first division, is more complicated. Since his injury and his signing for the Gunners last summer, Borja hadn't returned to the first division. After a long recovery and a return to the Atletico second team, he embarked upon a journey of transfers to grow and gain some confidence. After a season in Murcia and another in Huesca, in the summer of 2013, Deportivo La Coruña signed him up on loan. It was an important step. It's a team that had just been relegated from the first division. Deportivo's history is enormous. Great players have played for them. It was a challenge. It was a great year. We achieved the promotion, and I was the top goal scorer for the team, and it will always stay in my memory. After scoring 10 goals for La Coruña, it was Zaragoza who approached him the following season, a key year for Borja. My year at Zaragoza was a year I really took off. It was incredible on a football and personal level. We had a brilliant group of players and we all got on really well and everything went well. The only thing that went wrong was when we missed out on promotion by five minutes. His physical prowess, his energy and his 23 goals for Zaragoza reminded us of the best of Borja and that earned him a return ticket back to the elite of Spanish football last summer. The faith the club showed in me, the sporting director, Fran, the manager, I'd heard very good things about the way the manager and the team worked. So I was excited to come here and I think I was right. I'm very pleased with the group we've formed and what we're doing, especially considering it's a very small city of 27,000 people. So to be in the first division is a historic feat. The manager, Mendilibar, trusts me at the end of the day. 
I know what he's like and I know he's a very friendly person who always gives you his all and even when he tells you off it's from the heart. I have to thank him for the chance he's giving me and I'm trying to show it on the pitch. Now 23, Borja has reached a point of maturity on the pitch, which is extremely valuable for Abar. At the end of the season, Atletico can still take him back, and as things stand at the moment, few doubt Borja Baston can achieve everything he says. When you leave a club so young, what you dream of is being able to play in the first team. I was lucky enough to get my debut, but I couldn't stay there. I know that it's complicated because of the level the team's playing at and what they're achieving at the moment. But they're looking for world-class forwards. In the last few years, they've had really good forwards. There aren't many openings in the team and it's difficult to get in. But still, you have to fight for it. I understand you have to go where life takes you, but I'll always have affection for Atletico Madrid. My biggest dream would be to play for the national team. It's a dream to represent your country, especially with the level of the players. They're all incredible. Let's hope I can get there and be amongst the best.